All right, and this is Let's Play Aggressive Inline on the Xbox. That's right. We are going to be playing a, another game by Z Axis. And also, this is kind of like the last game with Acclaim because if you remember, Acclaim went bankrupt. And see, Axis, nothing great in the world has ever been accomplished without passion. GWF Hegel. Oh, God. intro for the copyright issues so yeah aggressive inline yep another I guess skating type of or extreme sports type of, type of game so we're gonna start the career mode so got all these like inline skaters some real life some like fictional like Jeremy Grob Ty Chris Shane Yost Frankie Morales, Chrissy, I'm pretty sure she's fictional. Matt Ledenmu, Sam Fagarty, Fuck yeah, I'm like butchering their names. Because I'm not, I have no idea how you say it. Jordan, Sven Boykhorst, Matt Salerno, Eito Yasutoko, Chris Edwards, that's French. Alright. So I'm actually going to play as. Who should I play as? I guess Jeremy Garab. I guess I'll go with his name. And we are going to play the tutorial. And the controls, and it shows the goddamn Duke control. Oh my god, I hate that control. Alright. Talk to the people. People on the levels assign various challenges, complain the challenges, open new levels, improve your scares abilities, and offer other rewards. To receive a challenge, find a big spinning bubble, skate up to it, and press the B button. Try that now. Right. Pretty simple. There you go. Sometimes radios, kiosks, and other items will have spinning bubble. This is just another way to get a challenge. Right. Basic skating. To get your skater moving, hold down the A button. When you release the button, your skater will jump. Press down to stop. While skating, press left or right to turn. Show me you know what you're doing by skating between the three banners. Alright, let's go. Yeah, pretty simple. Alright, sharp turns. To make sharp turns, pull and hold either trigger while turning. You will lose a little speed from carving so tight. Skate between the poles using sharp turns. Oops. Three and there we go. A fakie. Going backwards is a big part of skating. This is called fakie. Of course, because you know I played Dave Mirror before. And it's kind of been a part of, you know, skating. But anyways. To switch to fakie, tap either the black or white button. Skate between these banners while going faking. The last few may require sharp turns. Two, three, and... There we go. Hint. Scare cannot go as fast or jump as high while going faking. Of course. Gotta keep that in mind. Jumping. Hold down the A button. Prepares you to jump. Release the A button to jump. Jump over the wall. Of course. Pretty simple. To jump without speeding up, tap the A button. To maximize height and distance, jump near the edge of a ramp or quarter pipe. Alright. Manuals. Skating on one wheel is called a manual. Manuals can be done with one or two skates. Press down, then up. Does a single foot toe manual. Press up, then down. Begins a single foot heel manual. 
Use the balance wheel to keep manually. Press up and down to maintain your balance. Manuals can be done either from the ground or the air. Manuals can also be done while riding taking. Ride a manual over the fun box up ahead. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty different. It's kind of like Tony Hawk's um, manual where you have to press up, down, or down, up. Anyways, hint. Use the manual to connect tricks and create big combos. Of course, because you know I played Tony Hawk before. The more you perform manuals, the better your balance becomes. Alright, grinding. Grinding is a major part of the game, just like Tony Hawk and Dave Murrow. Anyways, to grind, press the Y button when near an edge. You can grind from the air or the ground. Grinds can also be done in the fake direction. Watch the meter keep balance, jump in the air, and grind the rail, of course. Again, I played Tony Hawk before. Anyways. To jump out of a grind, tap the A button, of course. To jump left or right from a grind, tap left or right when releasing the A button. By tapping a direction when the white button is pressed, a different grind is performed. Alright, modifying grinds. You don't have to jump in the air to switch grinds. While grinding, press a direction and the white button. Your trick multiplier and score increase by switching grinds. Stay sharp because balancing also becomes harder. Press up before selecting a grind causes the switch version of the grind. The footwork is opposite of the normal version of the grind. Press down before selecting the grind causes the fakey version of the grind. If already going fakey, the forward grind will execute. Modify grinds earn you more points. Do a couple of grinds on the long ground. Alright. And I messed up. There we go. Pretty simple. Again, just like Tony Hawk, but you know, you have to press directions. Anyways, air tricks. To do an air trick, press an, press I eh, press a direction and the X button. You'll do a grab or flip trick. Grabs are done by pressing a single direction and the X button. Holding down the X button will tweak the trick and get you more points. Flips are done by pressing two directions and the X button. <sighs> Flips are worth more, but take longer to do, so make sure you have plenty of air. Grab flip combos are done by pressing direction for the grab, followed by the direction for the flip, and then tapping the X button. Foreign trick over the grab, okay. Pretty simple. Use the triggers to rotate while in the air. Just add points and increase the multiplayer. Alright. Exit pipes and bowls. To exit from a bowl or a quarter pipe, hold up while riding up the hoops. Try jumping out of the bowl. It's pretty simple. You know. Tony Hawk, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna be mentioning Tony Hawk a lot. Like the game series. In this walkthrough. But anyways, bail off a pipe. To correct yourself in the air, if you fly off the side of a quarter pipe, press the B button. You will regain your balance and land safely on the ground. Jump off the side of the quarter pipe and press the B button to land safely. Okay. Yeah, it's, some people may not know this, but... Okay, wow. So I land sideways and... There is the same whoa from BMX Triple X. It's time for about that game. Okay, there we go. So you get actually like... Like bail out of the when you're about to hit the floor, the ground, just like Antonio. Anyways, hand plants. A hand plant can be performed on a quarter pipe or a bowl. To perform a hand plant, right up a pipe or a bowl, perpendicular to the top edge. Hold down the white button. You will go into a hand plant. Use the meter to balance your skater. Hit the A button to return to the bowl. Perform a hand plant on the quarter pipe. All right, let's do that. Okay, that was weird. Particular, and there you go. And I fell, but whatever. Hint select different hand plants by pressing different directions when the white button is pressed, of course. Vaulting. Vaults are special tricks that somersault you into the air. To vault, hold down the B button when approaching a waist high edge. Alright, so basically, like this. 
Vaults can also be done from manuals and count as an additional trick in a combo. Vaults can also be done while writing fakey. Vaults are a good way to exit a quarter pipe. Of course. Vertical pulls. Grab a vertical pull to do a quick turnaround. Vertical pulls can be grabbed from both the ground and the air while going either forward or fakey. Hold down the B button while approaching a vertical pull. You'll whip around and come back back the other way. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Now for horizontal pulls. So yeah, just like before, you just gotta fly through the air and then press the B button, of course. Jump and grab the horizontal pull. Oops, hold on. I don't know why I didn't jump right there. There we go. Hint, to jump to the left or right, press the left or right direction as you leave the pole. You can swing around the pole up to three times while holding the B button. After releasing one horizontal pole, you can grab a second horizontal pole by pressing the B button again. Right, sketching. Grab the back of a movie, moving vehicle is called sketching, of course. Learn that from Tony Hawk. Anyways, to sketch, press the B button near the back of a moving vehicle sketch on the golf cart. Yeah, unlike Tony Hawk where it's like up, you have to press B in these like Z-axis games. Anyways, wall rides. To perform wall ride, jump towards the wall at an angle, then press down and the A button. Hold down the A button to continue riding the wall. When you release the A button, you will jump off the wall. Ride the wall. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like Dave Mira. Where you have to press down and then the jump in. Use the wall ride to get to locations you can't reach by using a normal jump. Alright, cess slides. Besides turning you around, the cess slide can be used to link tricks when landing on a quarter pipe or a bowl. As you land on the pipe, press the black button or the white button. You will do the cess slide. Continue your trick string by quickly going into a manual. By using cess slides and manuals, perform a 5,000 point series of tricks chained together. Alright. Basically, like combo. Yeah, basically a revert. Anyways, trick lines. Bonus scores are awarded for writing certain pieces in the correct order within the same trick chain. This is called a line, of course. To do this line, vault the wall, grind the rail, and then swing on the horizontal pole. Alright, let's go and do this. There you go. Juice is life. Notice the meter in the upper left of the screen. Doing tricks successfully fills this meter. When full, it flashes. Once full, the skater can do special tricks. Also, fire shoots out of your skates and your top speed increases. Do tricks in the bowl until your meter fills up. Now, this is something I want to say, but I'll just wait a bit. Sideways water. Hint. Pay attention to the meter. If it runs out, the game's over. So yeah, apparently they copied that idea from BMX Triple X, where if you constantly like fail, kind of, but but if your meter runs out, the game's over. AKA the runs over. So yeah, man, Z axis never learns from BMX Triple X. Although I'm not sure if BMX Triple X came out for uh, before or after. Aggressive in lane, but at least they kind of redeem themselves because you know you can actually fill up your meter by doing tricks. Unlike in BMX Triple X, where if you um, where you can only fill up your meter if you complete a goal. So yeah, I'm actually glad they kind of fixed it, but again, it's still annoying. Anyways, keep doing tricks so the juice meter won't diminish the dangerous levels. The less juice you have, the slower you skate. Bigger tricks fill the meter faster. 
Crashing causing the meter to lose juice, of course. Attributes and I see floating blood. In the game, your skating skills, which are called attributes, improve by using them. For example, the more you grind, the better that attribute gets. During the game, select the attribute screen from the pause menu to see your current level of your skills. You can experience points or XP by completing the challenges. This is a great way to improve your attributes. Grind the three rows in one trick line and look in the lower right corner of the screen to see your attributes improve. There you go. And then it shows all the XP you get. Power-ups. Hitting power-ups give you different rewards. The green and purple juice containers fill up the juice meter. The orange juice containers increases the size of the juice meter. Get these four power-ups. So, yeah. And also something that uh, BMX Triple X should have done is like give you power-ups in case like you run out of uh, in case you're like close to dying, which they should have put. But again, that was a missed opportunity. And aggressive inline would basically fix that. But anyways, there's a single attribute power-up on each level. The icon increases your ability in a given attribute attribute by one level. There is a single key on each level. They are difficult to reach areas. The key opens up a hidden area on another level. Inside these areas are new objectives and surprises. And graduation day, which is basically everything we have learned. Form a 10,000 point trick combo. Alright, let's do this. Use the right thumbstick to look around. You can do this while skating or standing still. This is a good way to find objectives, power-ups, and other interesting areas on the levels. And with that, we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and exit the level. And our first official level is the movie lot, which we're actually going to save that for the next part so next time on let's play aggressive inline we're going to do our first level the movie lot yeah see you guys next time bro hoof <laughs>